Welcome people to the World Wide Web and welcome to another video. So it's a little bit different, I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna do a toy review, a toy review video and it'll be off this boy. So if you watch the channel, you'll see that the other day I, I managed to pick one of these up. So this came from Indemand Toys. And as I said in my other video, I, I you know, when you see the mailing list of if you want something, can they let you know that um, it's at, when it's going to be in stock, so you put in an email address. This is what I did with this. Now, I didn't expect to get this, or even um, when it did come back in stock, what the chances I would I've noticed it. So I was quite fortunate. I noticed the email within five minutes of noticing it. I then managed to pay. I had a little bit of problem trying to pay for it, but um, yeah, man managed to get paid for it. Went to share it on some of the Facebook groups I am because you know I try to help the other collectors out there. Um, unfortunately, it was sold out, so. I don't know if I only had one in stock, if it was a few. Um, I know he's quite hard to come by, especially this is an import version and it cost me £85. So it's, it's quite hard. It ain't cheap, um, but he was the main character I was after. Yeah, so I'm going to do a little review video here just, just to anybody who has got this or hasn't got this, or maybe you've got it ordered. Just, just a few things to notice. So obviously, here is the box. So uh, obviously so you see the little folds there. Um, obviously the edges unfortunately are already a little bit wear and tear. So you can see the different, uh, the Cobra symbols there. The back artwork is lovely, I must admit. If the, the, whoever did draw this picture it is really, really good if it's a set of pictures all merged in. So yeah, and then we take the sleeve off. And then you have the back, it's already open so they like to put tape in a lot of places, so just be wary of that. Um, removing the tape, I tried to be as careful as I can, but I still got, um, still pulled off some of the, the um, cardboard of pictures. So yeah, so this is the front, so it has the DNA, so that's obviously Serpentor was created by Mindbender by using the DNA of General, so I quite like how they've incorporated that there. And then if we open it up, obviously everything's been removed, so he has his staff, a sword and a snake in this side. Um, in the other side he has his spare head, if I can get that in there, and then his chariot and himself is, is in this compartment here that you have to open the back. So first thing to be aware of, um, if I can find it, they put two bits of tape, one here and one here. Obviously when I removed mine, if you can kind of see that, I have pulled off the image there. So if you are, a, a, you want to kind of keep the box as best as possible, just, just be very aware, maybe cut the tape. Um, obviously to get these compartments out, you can open at the bottom as I've done, obviously not done the best of jobs. Um, but, and then to get the side, I've opened this up. So just, I say, cut along the card here. And then obviously if you remove those two bits, then the whole thing slides out like that. I'll, I'll do the whole thing. So yeah, so then there will be tape here. So you do that and that's how Serpentor's in there. He's also sellotaped here. Oh, sellotaped at the top and the bottom, as you can see. Oh, oh as the card comes out. And then obviously the chariot is all fixed in here with all the guns and everything else and um, some little ammo bits are in there. So, quite, I mean, surprisingly how, sorry, dropping stuff. So, surprising how much you actually get in this box. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep that. So, I've already had a little play around with it. So first you get all the parts for the, is it Sky Chariot? Apologies if I get the, it's uh, Air Chariot. So yep, here we are, so amazing little like details and all the little grills are actually, you know, cut out. They're not, I mean the sides do look like pictures, but no, these are actually like individual vent, if you can hear that, me wrap in around. So yep, so, you, the chariot comes in two parts. It comes in this section and then the cobra head comes separate that you just put into a ball joint. Really interesting thing about the cobra, obviously if you, oh, you can open his mouth and he has a little gun inside there, which I thought was very nice. It nice. I don't remember that from the, the film. It might've been in the cartoon, you might've had that, but that's, you know, but really good. Also when you put it, it has two steps. So you put the handle in, and the snake in. Now I found if you put the snake head in first, it's a little tight to get the handles in. So you probably want to do handle first, then this, and then you add the guns and the little kind of fins. So these black fins, they also come separate. They just pop into a ball joint. 
very quick and easy. And then you get these guns that are assembled in three parts. So I will move them off. So it comes as the main gun, the barrel, which is just a push in. And then you have like the ammo clip, if I can put it there. So a key thing I, I found, stick this end in first and then this bit you just pull back and slot in. They've got little pit location pins, so you can't really get it wrong. But I mean, they're quite sturdy plastic, so you're not likely to break them, you can twist them, but just to be a little bit careful on it. All right, let me try. Okay, that, yeah. So there he is, his chariot. I haven't clicked them onto it quite like the stickers and stuff, and obviously there is a little bit of detail in there. He has obviously the fan at the back, which does move. If I, yeah, you can see it. So that's quite a nice little feature as well. And I mean, the guns could probably come off and you can have Serpent or having a, having a big gun blowing away some of the Joes. But I mean, very, very good, well-made vehicle. I quite like the kind of pod ones that they're gonna do. I did actually like looking at them, so hopefully I might get one of them in the future. But yeah, this is, so uh, the air chariot is, uh, so the air chariot, apologies. Get, so that's a look at him. So yeah, very, very good. Very quite quick and easy to put together with little ball joints and that, but very sturdy. I mean, it, if you feel the plastic, it, it doesn't feel brittle or anything. I mean, you could probably drop this and it'd be fine a few times. Not that I'd advise to, to drop it, but yeah. So let's put that down there. So then he comes with some accessories. So first we have his staff. Um, obviously, apart from the red, there isn't much paintwork. The, the face, the little snake face doesn't really have anything on it. But I mean that's not too bad. I mean he he's kind of uh, kind of a goldy orangey cover, yellowy orange, orangey cover anyway. So that's quite good. So then you get he actually comes with this head plate. This is what he initially came with. Um, I've taken him off and done the two parts. So you'll see on my figure he has oh, that's there. So he has this back part separate and then the head cap separate. Um, yeah. So like there you go. He looks a bit funny without it on. <laughs> But um, yeah, very quick and easy to pop. So there's one little clip that pops out and obviously this as it comes off, there's a little hole, if you can see there. And let's just pop it back in like so. And Bob's your uncle, there he is. So, but we'll go over the figure. We'll just finish the accessory and see. Yep, so that was the extra head. I've seen a little bit of paint with the eyes and a little bit of white on the fangs, so not too much. Uh, the sword. If we get that again just quite a nice silver there's a little snake emblem on the hill it would have been nice to have a little bit of paintwork on that but it is what it is then you get two kind of gauntlets that he has this oh, let's try and put this on my finger so i'm not blocking it there you go so there's that one and he has a longer one which i've got him wearing and then he has his two snakes so you have this hard one that you can just sit there quite nice obviously a little bit of color Ooh colouring here around in, within the mouth and the fangs again and the eyes so I'll probably have him sitting on the air cycle air chariot or that or, and then probably one of my favourite bits his snake which is bendy so if you've ever seen the film or TV series you know he, he has these snakes around his waist and white waist around his um, shoulders he can pull them off use them as a dart and then obviously he he throws and stabs the uh, duke Duke, I think it's Duke, yeah, in the film, which he was supposed to die in, die in real life. Spoilers, it's from the 80s. So he would, but um, obviously, due to Optimus Prime dying, they decided not that, not to do that even. So here we go on to the main figure himself. Obviously, here is a Pentor. Very good face work, look very menacing. Obviously, that was the claw I said. He's got a big one. So this just very, very simple. See, so it's a little, little port. Just plug it in. Obviously nice gold on the chest and green with the snakes it, it, to be honest the color scheme is really good all across mine i haven't really noticed there was a little bit of a flake of gold on his leg that just peeled off i don't know what that was from probably from but yeah as far as i can tell he is um let's put him back a little bit here let's slowly turn him obviously cloth cape no wiring or anything on this but still quite nice yeah so I will remove his um, his gauntlet for you and I'll remove his cape because these is another reason why I wanted to do this. So as you all may have aware with different figures, sometimes there are stiff joints. Now, 
the GI Joes, I've never had any problems with any of their joints. Um, and not to say that I have a problem with this uh, uh, Serpentor figure, but there's just something. So I think they're called butterfly joints. So here at the elbows and at the knees, mine seem really stiff. Now I have heated these up and freed them off, but uh, once it cools down, it's still quite hard. So I, I say, if you can see it, it twists. And then the, there you go, so I can bend. So you can, I say just, I would advise to, to heat them up and, and free them off, just if it does feel stiff, you know, don't take the risk of breaking it. Obviously the rest of it, like the swivels there and up and down and everything is all perfect. I mean, this is kind of the method I use. Obviously these joints are quite hard to stick into place. There's obviously you bend one of it till it's at its extent to the end, and then you kind of, then you can bend the other section if it's, loose enough and this is this is where I say so I'm showing you with the arms and this is where you have to be very careful with the legs now I've not broke this guy and I'm definitely not going to do it so if you try to do it with the legs obviously he goes back in that position now you can try to but mine is still really really tight I heated up both of these points and there was green paint underneath it so be very careful of that I imagine because if you will see, because he has this swivel section here, if you try and push it, you see that this part is coming up, coming away. And obviously, that's why I'm not going to force it now. I heated it up and freed them off, but you really only need that if he's going to be kneeling down or something. And to be honest, I'm I'm going to have him stand on chariot. And I mean, you can see on mine, if you look at that leg, it has started to create a little bit of a void. I mean, you could probably push it back on, but I think these sections here are going to be very susceptible. So, yeah, my advice, if you want to just make sure it's all free, heat them all up. I use a hairdryer. Um, I kind of put my finger around the back when your finger feels hot, just try and a little pressure. I mean, when it warms up, it's quite freed off. I mean, as I say, it's gone stiff again, but I think if you were maybe using a bit too much force, if you break his leg, you're not going to have a good time trying to fix this and trying to get replacement is going to be nigh to impossible. I reckon how hard trying to find him at the minute. Um, specifically, I say I paid 85. I saw somebody on a on a Facebook group yesterday wanting 120 quid and he had four of them. And it's like, that's plus post. That's not including postage, sorry. So it's like, he it, it can, it can, action figures can get quite expensive. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really like him. He... I wanted the original version, which is why I even, why I kind of, the only bit of Joe's I wanted, because obviously reminiscent of the film, and he is quite a pivotal part of the film, with Cobra Commander. Because the old figure is quite hard to get hold of, and then getting into classifieds, I, I, I was happy as a show to pay 85 quid. So I will put him on his chariot, just so you can see. I mean, I say most of the joints are good, actually that's probably, so you'll see that, this leg is really, really foot free. This one is a little bit tighter. I mean, as you can see, there's no really loose joints on it. I mean, his head is his head is probably one of the loosest ones, but obviously if you put the fixed one on, you can't move his head. So that's why I've gone for the two piece, just because there is that movement. Um, probably best to show everybody. Let's, so you see he has, the hole here for his head so it fixes it in place so it is a little tricky try and do the head first yeah and there you go there's him with the fixed section but he then can't do anything with his head and he's just stuck facing forwards like a robot so that's why I've opted for the other version if I can then get it out I say like really really well made really really impressed I mean, personally, I would have liked to pay like 70 quid rather than 85 for this. I think like the figures are, I think coming up to now about 30 quid brand new. So the fact you pay for a, a figure with a lot of accessories and another vehicle, let's say the vehicle was 30 quid as well. I, you know, 70 quid, I don't think it's too good. 85 is, is quite expensive, but that's because of import, um, the import fees and stuff like that. Um, but I'm, I say, I, I, but I paid 85, I was more than happy to have him. Yeah, let's put him on his air chariot. And 
and uh, oh, I've not put his cap on. No, it's full. Okay. Okay, that's a good sign. I haven't tried to put him on it. Notice the pegs are very um, not holding him the greatest in position. Um, obviously, cape. Start off with both hands and then work your way up. I know it's it's probably silly. Everybody's like, of course you would. Yeah, it isn't stretchable enough to just get it through one arm and then the other. Let's put his. Right, let's try this again. Okay, maybe it needed a bit more of force. Um, I'm just touching his hands. I know it seems a bit weird. You're looking at me and thinking, what is he doing? And again, I say the arms like I bet now, so just be very careful of these points. I know these are more more common now. Um, so I'm looking straight forward. Um, so there he is. So very, very impressive and very, very happy. I mean, I didn't think out of the G.I. Joe's this would be the last thing I'd get if I was lucky, but I've got him there. Like they are really, Hasbro are, are absolutely hands down nailing these figures, like all the accessories and everything. I don't think anyone could ask for anything more. So, that's been my tour review of the Serpentor figure. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've learned something. Um, I say, if if you also have this figure um, and there's anything else you've noticed that I've overlooked, please do feel free to put it in the comments below. Um, if you are getting this figure, hopefully you, you find the little hints and tips I, I've said. Obviously, with figures nowadays, you're starting to learn with using hair dryers and just be careful of certain joints. But it is what it is. So, again, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if 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 that's that's how you feel. Um, and I shall see you in the next one.